So this seems to be one of the newer mini blasters we're seeing more and more often. It's a mini M16. This one is from the brand Bankabomb. I showed you their little mini Gatling gun, and now here is their mini M16. So we'll go over the contents. Everything you see on the table here comes in the box nicely wrapped. And let's talk about it and put it together. Obviously, safety glasses. Make sure you wear some sort of eye protection when you guys are using gel ball blasters. This one comes with a lot of gel balls, right? You got four of the big packs plus a couple 500 packs. I have stressed the importance of you must soak these properly, guys. They must get to seven, eight millimeters if you want your blaster to work right. So make sure you give them a large enough container, plenty of water to grow. They can't grow too big, so don't worry about that. And after three hours to overnight, drain off any excess water. You can store them in airtight containers. You can certainly store them in here with the lid on it. Don't store it connected to the blaster. Or they give you this nice little kind of speed loader where you can store them. And you should be able to store them in here too. Okay. I've got some really explicit detailed videos on soaking gel beads. If you need more information, please watch those. Is That's the number one problem people have with gel blasters is they don't soak the gel beads properly. This one also gives you a couple water activated targets. So, you know, when you hit them with the gel ball, it'll leave a mark. And then when it dries off, that mark goes away. So just kind of a cool little bonus, right? Here we have the situation where the battery plugs into the magazine and then the magazine plugs into the blaster. So we've seen that with this style in the past. You've got a 500 ma 7.4 volt battery right here. It's the four pin single plug connection, right? Here's your USB charger. Just plug that into any AC adapter. Once it's charged up, you're going to go ahead, plug it in here. With this one, we do kind of need to tuck the harness in first to make it fit easier. All right, so we got the battery in there. That just slides in. Battery release button right here. All right, on off switch right here. Got automatic and off. So that's kind of your safety and your on off switch. Pretty straightforward. Lastly, your bracket to connect your hopper is just going to slide on this way. So it's funny. This one, the arrow means this way. You see this arrow on a lot of the different brackets. Sometimes it means towards the back. Sometimes it means towards the front. Uh, but in this case, that's the way you want to slide it on. So we'll fill up your hopper with those properly soaked gel balls. You just flip the blaster, of course, spin it on. So that's a quick rundown as to how to put this guy together. So we'll go ahead, we'll test it out, we'll see what kind of FPS we're at. I mean, I like the look of the little mini M16. Uh, this one's got the Binkabomb name and the dinosaurs on it. You know, that's uh, not necessarily my uh, design choice, but definitely a good choice for kids, especially if they love dinosaurs, right? So check back, we'll see what the FPS is at. We'll see uh, how this one shoots. Of course, please comment, question, like, and subscribe, and share my channel with your friends. Thanks for the support.